Well, this, I'm afraid, is going to go from the sublime to the gold lining. Now, how's going to start this? Um, yes, it's not a musical poem, because I don't know what the hell a musical oh. poem is, but it's a, probably a reflection of my diction. This was supposed to be a music hall pro poem, because our evenings here always remind me of music hall. Ooh. Now, I'm, I'm afraid I'm not old enough to remember music hall, believe it or not, but my parents were, and they were great music hall fans, and they um, enjoyed acts by a chap called um, Billy Bennett, who I thought, well, I'll do a bit of research on him and see if I can find any poems that he did that I can vaguely remember. <coughs> and I might be able to learn one for you. Uh, so I looked him up. He died three years before I was born, so yeah, it just shows you how old the musical is. But anyway, this is one of his poems, um, which I, I hope I can remember, um, and it's called Nell. Nell was a colliers' daughter, with a cold black daddy so fine. At the close of the day, to the theatre he'd strain, to forget the dark toils of the mind. He was up in the gallery with some of the lads and they um, started to quarrel a bit. It wasn't his shift, but they gave him a lift and the collier went down in the pit. Years rolled on since that happened. Time soothed the widow's pain. One morning she met a, a, a diver and Nell's mother married again. So Nell's now a diver's daughter. He used to dive under the ships. He'd walk on the bed of the ocean and tread on the fishes and chips. <laughs> but the mother and he could never agree. So they quarreled for hours and hours. Once he called her a dog, so she picked up his clog, and then came a coach filled with flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Years have rolled on since that happened. Time soon, the widow's pain. One morning, uh, she met a, a baker. And Nell's mother married again. So Nell's now a baker's daughter. A loafer from way down east. And as sure as the sun always sinks in the west, his bread used to rise with the yeast. <laughs> um, but he sat down on once on a cooking stove, which could have been much colder, so he got three strikes for his bravery along with on his shoulder. <laughs> Years have rolled on since that happened. Time soon the widow's pain. Uh, one morning she met. Did I say the baker? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a plumber. Plumber. A plumber. And Nell's mother married again. <laughs> so Nell's now a plumber's daughter. Yes, Nell's a plumber's lass. She ran like mad to protect, for to fetch her dad when she smelled an escape of gas. So dad went upstairs with a lighted match, <laughs> singing Granny's song at twilight. We heard a crack, and Dad came back to the next door neighbour's twilight. This <laughs> <laughs> skylight, sorry. <laughs> Years have rolled on, but I've said that before. Now Nell fell in love with a sailor and married a Jolly Jack Tar. He had eyes of blue, he was 62. <coughs> but you know what sailors are. <laughs> he had a son called John, who was 21. <clears throat> it's very strange to say that he fell in love with Nell's mother. Oh no! And married her right away. <laughs> so Nell is now her own mother's mother. <laughs> her father has become her own son. Her mother's first child is her father in law. And her daughter's the son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Nell's, no, no. Her mother's cousin looked after her child, 
for they found on the day of his birth that his uncle's step sisters, his grandmother's aunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the biggest liar on earth. <laughs>